All right, gonna learn about corresponding angles, what is called cut by a transversal, okay? Here we have a bunch of angles. We've got two lines and this is the transversal, okay? So an example of corresponding angles would be angle one and angle five. Another example, angle four and angle eight. Have you figured out the pattern? Angle two and angle six, angle three, angle seven. I don't know how else to teach other than one is outside the lines and one is inside. One is in, one is out. In, out, out, in. Those are corresponding angles. And then we're gonna do, in a minute here, uh, corresponding angles when the lines are parallel. All right, but what if the lines are parallel? Okay, now that opens up some interesting things. For corresponding angles. If the lines are parallel, then one angle one is congruent to angle five, angle four is congruent to angle eight, angle two is congruent to angle six, and angle three is congruent to angle seven. Oops, angle. So when you have parallel lines cut by the transversal, then the corresponding angles are congruent.